The Click R3 podcast is brought to you by the awesome community over on Patreon. To learn more about supporting the show, head over to spawncastnetwork.com. We finally have PlayStation 5 Pro confirmed out in the wild. Um, which just to do the recap of the entire little thing, I mean, this was a very, very brief nine minute technical in a way presentation, but really it was uh, dressed up in a more consumer facing way would probably be the better way to put it. I mean, it was a very quick thing. Nine minutes, Mark Cerny doing a brief, you know, overview of what the console is and what it does, which uh, pretty much everything we knew about the console was confirmed. Really, the bullet points we, we want to cover here is well, for one, the price it's six ninety nine USD, six ninety nine uh, six ninety nine uh, British pound sterling, seven ninety nine euro, and one hundred and twenty thousand yen digital edition only. You can add the disc drive later. It's taller than a PS five Slim. It's the same width though, so it's like kind of a like a pencil PS five in a way. Uh, it includes Wi Fi seven, two terabyte SSD. Around 40 to 50 free patches for existing games are expected, uh, which, you know, primarily this thing's going to be a 4K 60, F- uh, 60 FPS machine, or there's going to be RT added in those modes. PSSR was confirmed, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. That is going to work on apparently the entire library, which I think we did not necessarily know that beforehand. And that's also going to include PSVR 2 games in the future as well. Uh, PS5 Game Boost is going to be a thing just like ps4 game boost as well so it's going to boost the entire library that includes all all software um some early examples we saw from cnet final fantasy 7 rebirth um they were the only ones that got hands on time i believe so yes. rebirth yeah rebirth apparently looked very crisp a lot better it, he compared it to like putting on glasses basically and now it looks much more clear uh gt7 this was pretty surprising to me has an 8k mode I saw that so, too. Yeah. That, yeah originally that they were talking about 4K with ray tracing. I'm like, oh, that's cool, I guess. Because yeah. otherwise it was only in the replays. Oh, no, it, it has 8K. So, oh, okay. We fi- we're we there. We finally made it. The <laughs> original promise from the box that they removed. We're I, this now is, with the PS5 Pro. <laughs> that one, I, I maybe I'm just... That, that was almost as shocking to me as the price. I'm like, wow, we actually do have an 8K game. <laughs> so there's that. Um, pre-orders begin on September 26th for PlayStation Direct. Third-party retailers, that's October 10th. So God forbid you want one of these things. Pre-orders are starting uh, the 26th for PS Direct, October 10th for third-party retailers, releasing on November 7th. Now, obviously the big sticking point here is the price. Because like pound for pound, we knew most of this thing already. 45% faster GPU, CPU is basically the same. Um, PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. So, I mean, I, I, John, I, I think what we can probably just center on is this this price tag, which is pretty insane. It's it's high. It's it's high for us, like in the U.S. when they showed that price. I think everyone was like, "Oh, whoa, okay." It is it's six ninety nine nine, and there's no disc drive. Which, by the way, I feel like we discussed a couple of times the idea that th- they would try to get the price to a certain point by excluding the disc drive. Mm-hmm. And we thought they were going to try to get to the price to, we'll say, six hundred dollars. All right, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe like six hundred, and they'll exclude the disc drive to get to that price point. And it's like they excluded it to get to seven hundred. That was the price they had to get down to. And it was like, whoa, because I feel like most people. And I'm, I know some people out there did say, oh, maybe it's going to be seven hundred. I feel like the majority of people underestimated part cost right now behind the scenes, and that's. That to me is a little concerning, which we can talk about in a bit when it comes to uh, next generation. But for now, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's the thing. I, I don't. I guess not to like get into it right away. But uh, honestly, that's what I'm thinking more of as the event ended. Like, what was this? Eleven a.m. So maybe mm-hmm. like ten hours ago. The more I sit on this, and Twitter is blowing up with memes about how expensive this console is the more I, I just can't shake off, like what the hell does this mean for PlayStation six? Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? It's, it's I made a whole, I immediately, I was thinking about that too. And I ended up making a video on the second channel talking about the future of console gaming. And, uh, I, I almost wonder if Sony is making a, a move to normalize some of this higher pricing right now. I, I mean, maybe it's cause that's so yeah, to your point, right? Like I, I thought best case scenario, which was unlikely, is five ninety nine, and it would probably end up being six forty nine, and they would not offer any disc console because the whole thing is like 
go off and buy the drive if you want one. Right. So they're going to, they're going to absolutely take that route. Not just because like there's a, they, they want to avoid the entire assembly line process where there's a, a separate box that has to be packaged with disc drives being put in. It's like, they're not going to do that for a pro because the pro is going to be low volume. That's the one thing we should also maybe get out the door right now, no matter mm-hmm. what price tag this thing was not for everybody, never was meant for everybody. It's a lower volume machine. So that point aside, there's that, but I, I would have thought, okay, price it at six forty nine, no disc drive, so you can avoid the optics of that six ninety nine price tag. I I really did not think they would touch six ninety nine, and it's like that's that's the U.S. It's like yeah. way worse, man. If you get the way disc drive worse. on it in certain regions, like I think certain like, like Europe it's like and a uh, Japan, it's almost like in Canada, it's almost a thousand dollars. I saw, I was it's, like, Whoa, dude, it's, that's... I just didn't, I didn't think that I, I, I even I'm shocked. I, I very rarely like get super animated or talk in hyperboles. And I, we of course like to talk about more the, the business side of things, but it's, it's, this is a baffling price. It's, it's super high. Even, even a, considering that the context of it was going to be low volume, because I, right. I don't know about you. I think no matter what this thing was priced at, like these memes were going to happen. Because that's just how the internet is nowadays. Like, so if they come out and say, "Here's a six hundred dollar PS Five Pro, and it's got no disc drive," like, it's going to be the same thing. Because it was going to be PS Three memes, and oh, here's the five ninety nine price. So no matter what, I guess it's the severity of like how bad the price was going to be and how much flack they were going to get for it. Yeah. I don't I don't actually know if they would have gotten as much flack at, at 599. The reason I say that is because it would actually not be the first $600 system that Microsoft has their Series X 2 terabyte, that's $600. I I see what you're saying. It I has hate- a disk drive. It does have a disk drive, but it's also not yeah. nearly as powerful as what's being shown here by the PS5 Pro. I guess hmm, that's a solid point, John. I don't know. I'm just I feel like and this is more playstation history if you touch the 599 price tag you're gonna get ps3 memes. yes yeah i just yeah i i it's the severity of it though i mean i absolutely that they're like in terms of how bad I made it one. Is, well this yeah <laughs> this is as bad as it gets though i i just can't believe it's dude this is so much it's crazy it's, it's, it's a lot it's, it's, i mean i saw that i i think everybody had that had that visible shot like sticker shock immediately like, whoa yeah okay it's seven hundred dollars without the but the disk drive on it's 780 i love the fact by the way they flash up the price <laughs> the the logo and of course of course no vertical stand included or like sold whoa. separately i was like <laughs> Now, the, you, there, you John, can't there put was, the vertical stand in the box. <laughs> John, there was no chance you were getting that stand. I, who are you I just kidding? Think it was so funny because I, you know, if you have it, which you have it, the vertical stand. Yeah, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's you look at it, and you're like, this is this is the line right here. <laughs> this thing. Dude, that, well, that stand is like thirty dollars. Come on, I, I, ridiculous. No, I, I just think it's so funny. They're like, nah, that, 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 that's, that's the line, and they give it. I mean, I assume it's gonna be held up with the plastic pieces that we have for the the current revision oh yeah if you want to do it horizontal like the yeah, little yeah, feet, yeah. yeah. like they'll just have little feet and stuff and by the way that's gonna be kind of weird because it's a premium system and it's like here's little feet for it horizontally because that's how they want you to set it they don't want you to set it vertically maybe, if you don't understand maybe so. it'll be like metal or something it that won't. would be see, okay that would be kind of cool it, it won't though <laughs> it won't. metal with like the little rubber feet on the bottom that would that would seem a bit more premium then um i assume this thing weighs more than the Probably. current ps5 yeah it's taller so, so maybe maybe it would be worth doing like aluminum ones at least or something i don't know it's uh i mean now we're just talking about the little triangle stand at this point